the topics is online business 101 um in this topic, I will explain the pillars. Ano ang kailangan gawin para mag-start ng isang business, ang online business. Second is online uh, business models. So ito ang mga paraan paano mag-start. Uh, ano ang mga klase ng pwede nating start today? Uh, after the webinar, you can start as early as you can. Lastly, the four steps to success. Uh, this is my uh, my brief uh, process to start an online business in any uh, path possible, in any business model. Online business uh, is uh, similar to a typical physical store, pareho lang po siya, except for these four main pillars. So, uh, kapag online business, kailangan first merong electronic store. Um, electronic store, ito po yung nakikita na nasa website, may app, or pwedeng marketplaces, such as Lazada. Yeah. Uh, second, kailangan uh, merong kang way to collect um, money electronically without the physical interaction. So that is payments, payment gateways in the language of e-commerce. Third is logistics. Um, in a typical physical store, yung customer ang nagpupunta sa tindahan, uh, sa e-commerce or online business, yung binili ng customer, i-deliver sa kanila. So you need someone or uh, some company like third-party logistics, to deliver the products from your uh, store, from your inventory, to the house, the doorstep of your customers. And fourth is digital marketing. So uh, since ang tinatarget dito ay uh, Filipinos na, na may physical or, or may online profiles or lagging nasa internet, uh, you need something to promote your business electronically, so via digital marketing. Uh, later, we discuss that. So first, electronic store. Uh, maraming paraan para magkaroon ng electronic store. The, the typical, uh, the stereotype is everyone should have a website, right? Um, yes, that is one electronic store. Uh, option that you can have um, especially kapag marunong kayo mag program or mag, mag web design you can create an own e-commerce store or online business store but this is very fairly difficult to start with because uh, one you need to have an expertise in programming language uh, in uh, website development uh, and then, uh, medyo mahirap siya kasi uh, you need to pay for all the services. Kailangan nyo ng ser online server. Kailangan nyo bumili ng domain. Domain is the .com, uh, yung address sa mga website. And then, you, ne you need to pay for software uh, for, for the online store. Medyo difficult and then costly, especially for uh, new businesses or, for, or new entrepreneurs na mag-start pa lang sa online business. Um, second, there is an outsourced option. Uh, why outsourced? Uh, Merong mga websites here in the Philippines and abroad that uh, you just pay them a certain fee and then they would uh, host your website and then yung mga options doon, it's like drag and drop. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-code. So, uh, Medyo mas madali, but you need to pay monthly. The, co the commitment is to pay monthly for outsourced. The perfect example of this uh, outsourced option is Shopify. Shopify.com, if you know that. Uh, you just set an account, may trial siya, two months yata, two months. And then you need to pay. Uh, if you will be uh, continuing the, the service, around 700 per month ang payment sa kanila. So, hindi nyo na kailangan bumili ng server, hindi nyo kailangan bumili ng, ng mga software, nandun na siya lahat. I just need to uh, set 
yung mga options, settings, and then meron silang customer service that you can ask. So, yan, Shopify. Later, tingnan natin yung demo. Third is uh, for newbies, pwede naman via marketplaces. What are marketplaces? These are Lazada, Shopee, Carousel, uh, OLX. So you don't need to create a website. You need don't you know you don't need to create an online store that you own. You just need to enlist on this uh, services. Yeah, Lazada. Um, Lazada, I think, kailangan meron kang business registration. Uh, they would need your um, certificate of registration for you to be accepted as a merchant. And then sa Shopee, I, pwede naman yara informal. So you just create an account there, post your products, the pictures, and then set the price, and then promote the links. And then there is a new player, Carousel. Uh, they now own OLX. So similar siya sa Shopee, meron siya mobile app, meron website. And list there, uh, create a merchant account, and then sell the products you would like to sell. So ganun lang siya kasimple. And the fourth one, fourth, fourth option for, for electronic store is social. So uh, marami tayo nakikita ganito. Uh, FB page, Instagram page. Uh, actually, I have a student sa U University of the Philippines, Open University. Uh, she's doing big now. Uh, she, she sells fashion items uh, for uh, usually female. So she's selling around 1,000 to 2,000 items per week. Uh, the, shop, the shop is called uh, HTP Clothing or Half the Price Clothing. Uh, originally uh, using Instagram as their electronic store. So again, uh, malaki man or malit yung operations, you can use social uh, media pages such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Though ang risk lang is uh, you don't control the policies of these big applications, the Instagram, the Facebook. So uh, kapag may changes sila, mag adjust it kayo. So, but it's free. Uh, that's a good option. Okay, so that's the first pillar of electronic commerce or online business. So, electronic store. Kailangan meron tayo uh, way to showcase our products. So, uh, the options, owned, outsourced, marketplace, or social. So, second pillar na kailangan yung magawa para magkaroon ng online business is payments. Kailangan makakuha tayo ng payments from our customers electronically. So, kailangan walang physical interaction. Um, the, the options here in the Philippines available is first, credit cards. Credit cards are the most secure yet it's the, uh, it's the most costly option because you need to pay for the terminal and then you need to pay for the processing fee and have set up fees with banks. Medyo mahal siya, 100,000 and up. So, for big businesses lang talaga siya, big e-commerce businesses. Uh, but, you can try deposits, bank deposits. Um, so, kapag may bumili, just uh, have them deposit the amount to your bank from their bank. Ngayon, merong option tinatawag Instapay. So, hindi na nagmamatter if ang client or ang customer nyo, for example, BPI, ang credit ang bank nila, and kayo, meron kayong BDO, meron ng interbank uh, connectivity ngayon through Instapay. So, around 15 pesos. Iba-iba siya kada bank. So, 15 to 50 pesos per transfer. But you can now, uh, uh, yung hassle na magkakaiba yung bank, na, nawala na because of uh, the Instapay option. So, okay. Okay na yung uh, interbank deposits. Uh, next is e-wallet. E-wallet is PayPal usually. PayPal. So, PayPal, uh, may, many credit card users or, or bank uh, users here in the Philippines have PayPal accounts. So, using your email, you can transfer funds. So, uh, the good thing for uh, e-commerce business, it's free to register. Uh, 
for a PayPal account. You just need a bank account. So, ililink niyo yung bank niyo sa isang email uh, that is set na sa PayPal. Uh, magkakaroon kayo ng option to collect payments via that email. So, it's a secure option, uh, though my charge is around 5% per transaction. We also have payment options. Payment options are GCash and Paymaya. Um, GCash is especially good in the Philippines because it's linked to Facebook Messenger. So kapag uh, uh, may time kayo, tignan nyo yung mga Facebook Messenger nyo, may option doon to pay. Pay via GCash. So the good thing in GCash or Paymaya is that free. Uh, just need to register your um, mobile number, have them uh, verify your identity for you to accept payments. So you need to just uh, send pictures of your uh, IDs and then some information. Ma 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 verify na kayo ng, ng GCash for payments acceptance. Uh, the last three are the cash on delivery options. Cash on delivery options are usually offered by third party logistics. It's more especially here in Manila. So may, may services silang ganun. Payment centers. Uh, payment centers uh, can accept payments for you, but you need to have uh, a service to enlist with. Uh, the popular in the, here in the Philippines is um, Dragon Pay. So around 28,000 per setup. So uh, it's a future, it's an option for the future in case you would uh, expand your business. And then last is crypto, uh, the Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, uh, in case you know this, but major limited lang yung merong ganitong account. So uh, a suggestion uh, for uh, starting entrepreneurs uh, pursuing online business, it has to be deposits, mobile wallet, and then uh, the mobile payment, Gcash and Paymaya. You can use that three options without any uh, without you shelling out money or expenses. Okay. Third option is logistics. You need to set up a logistics um, option for your business for you to enable deliveries. Now, in deliveries, uh, there are many, many um, services here in the Philippines. Uh, LBC, to go, JRS, uh, send, especially for uh, e-commerce business. And there are lots of new logistics players here in the Philippines. So just search the web. Uh, two criteria for you to, to, to select your um, logistics partner. First is uh, the rate, especially. Siyempre, mas mura, mas maganda. Second is uh, reliability. Uh, just search for the complaints uh, with that service. So if it's reliable, it's a good option. Uh, also, last, uh, you can seek third-party logistics firm that offers cash on delivery. I know there are lots of small uh, couriers that allow cash on deliveries. Uh, however, that's only for major cities here, here in the Philippines, uh, especially Manila. Um, the last pillar for operating an online business is digital marketing. So you need to have uh, at least uh, advertising, uh, kahit hindi po nagbabayad sa advertising um, options. Uh, you need to have presence in search engines, so Google. So kailangan na search yung, yung website nyo or yung electronic store nyo sa Google. So, pag nag-search ng, ng, for example, t-shirts, if you're selling t-shirts, lalabas kayo sa search engine. Social media, it's uh, imperative that you at least ha at least uh, you need to have uh, a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and Twitter. Or, or at least Facebook page and Instagram. Um, the ingredient in digital marketing is you need to have creatives. Creatives meaning kailangan may video kayo doon, kailangan merong uh, pictures, a good graphics, and then uh, including in the, included in sa creatives are the 
the post uh, the yung messages ng ng ang ads nyo um, um, ang maganda pa pag sa marketing online is that you can you can uh, track the the engagement meaning the likes uh, who who reacted on on your post uh, how much clicks that it does does the ad gain something like that you can easily track those so the ingredient in digital marketing is you need to have an asset a digital asset or the creative a video and then a message and then pick the channels that you need to uh, post your creative the obvious are facebook page and then the instagram page and mga maraming users of philippines um however since uh, Facebook is a business entity na kailangan din kumita, similar to Google din. Um, the visibility of uh, the post, so mag, yung parang mag-post lang kayo sa page nyo and then uh, have it shared by your friends, your family. Yung reach na hindi ganun kala, kadami uh, because uh, Facebook doesn't want... Uh, uh, cluttered news feeds for everyone. So, hindi siya masyadong makikita ng marami uh, kapag mga free post sa Instagram at Facebook. Ngayon, uh, there is a paid option there. Uh, in in Facebook, it's called uh, Ads Manager. So, you need to pay something sa Facebook uh, via your credit cards or via PayPal magbabayad ka sa kanila and then they will uh, Facebook would show your ads to specific people within an area age group ano yung likes nila uh, ano yung uh, mga trabaho nila you can specifically target those people though may bayad siya so uh, i suggest if you're starting a business uh, try first the free uh, posts but have a small budget uh, to target those specific people na gusto nyo pagbentahan ng, ng, ng products or service no, ng, sa online business. No. So, uh, that is the four uh, the four pillars of online business. Again, it's electronic store. Dun, an, ano yung uh, saan kayo magtitinda? Payments, paano nyo kukolektahin yung bayad ng customers, no? Uh, logistics is paano nyo ipapadala yung binili ng customers nyo papunta sa kanila. And lastly, paano kayo malalaman ng customers? Paano nila malalaman na may tinitinda ka or may online store ka? That is through digital marketing. Uh, going back, uh, that's the first topic for uh, this KLM webinar. So we're, we're now uh, going to the business models. So ito yung mga paraan paano magsimula ng isang online business. Um, so business models, uh, ang sin tinatanong niya is uh, Paano? Paano ako magsisimula ng isang online business? So, nasasagot siya ng business models. Business models is a mechanism that you should create so that your business can get revenues or profit from your customers. Um, I've listed five basic ones here. Uh, I will discuss them one by one. I'm using examples of my uh, current websites in some of the ventures that I did in the past and uh, currently operating now. So let's go uh, to the five uh, business models for you. First is own. Own product, own store. Uh, you sell on your own site uh, original products or services you produce. So um, for example, if you have a meat processing side business, so nagagawa kayo, for example, longganisa, tosino, uh, 
you produce that original business, original product, you create an online store, uh, like uh, create a Facebook page, an Instagram page, take pictures, and then sell it immediately on the, that social media pages. Or if you have uh, business registration, you can enlist with Lazada or Shopee, Carousel, and create an online store de there, sell the products you're selling. Uh, or in our example, meat products, for example. If non-perishable naman, if you're selling, for example, shoes, uh, you, you, you're creating slippers, something like that, uh, create an online page, online e-commerce e store. Uh, mentioned a while ago, may apat na options tayo. So you, you can start there. Now, um, what are the sources of products that uh, originally kayo ang nagagawa, nagsusupply? Uh, it could be your family business. If you have an existing family business or my existing uh, business, uh, some relatives, you can use that as your own product. If you have a hobby, maybe you create handicrafts, uh, jewelry, uh, accessories. That's one uh, way to uh, to own a product and sell it to uh, online channels. Uh, if you have an invention, uh, that's one use. Though it's very difficult to own that, but uh, that's a good way to uh, start an online business. So uh, this is an example of a website that I own. Uh, this is in partnership with University of the Philippines, Open University. So here uh, I host webinars like this one. So I create uh, class uh, online classrooms uh, for uh, my entrepreneurship classes. So uh, I'm selling on this uh, platform, this website, um, ebooks. So uh, because I'm teaching uh, in University of the Philippines, I have a little bit of expertise in creating um, digital products such as electronic books. So uh, I need to write something and then have it formatted as PDF uh, and then other e-reader uh, e formats. And I post that in the website and sell that. So uh, in my example, in this website, you can see the business counselors workshop in PDF format or in Prezi format. Uh, it's one thousand. It's price one thousand. Uh, this business counselor workshop uh, was made for uh, the DTI counselors in negotiation centers around the Philippines. So uh, I've been selling the program and the ebook. So uh, apparently, I'm gaining some uh, a few sales for this. So this is an example of an owned product. So I own, uh, I own this. I own the proprietary rights and the, the the copyright. So I, I'm selling for a price. So, kung may hobby kayo, mayroon kayong um, may talent kayo. Think of a prod by product of that talent, and then use that as a product that you can sell online. Uh, own services. Uh, you can uh, offer services uh, via online means. So if you have a hobby, if you're good at graphic design, for example, if you encode uh, at a fast rate at a nor as compared to the normal people, you can offer that skill. If you had talent, animation, or any talent whatsoever, can use that service uh, uh, as a product for your online business. So uh, an example is a personal website of mine, rmnisperos.com. So I use my uh, website to uh, get clients for my uh, training and workshops, and then uh, training workshops, uh, consultancy. I use that as a way to contact me and then uh, offer the service. 
So without this e-commerce, uh, with it, without this electronic store, I won't able to get clients. Okay. Uh, the first, uh, the one thing I've learned through the years, and with with all the, with all the experience teaching online business in UP, uh, I've realized that you. Uh, are a business um, and not as an employee uh, in business the most important foundation is the entrepreneur and not the business idea or the resources or whatever technology that they may that they may have in in, in today's world uh hindi po enough na empleyado lang po tayo ng sa ating mga kumpanya na pinagtatrabahuhan uh, meron po tayong other talent, other skill that we can use as a business. Uh, like uh, a typical uh, office worker, kapag meron siyang free time, um, he can create something out of his talent and then use that byproduct as uh, a way to get sales. Um, and the good thing in online business is that hindi nyo kailangan... 24-7 magbantay sa business. Uh, just need uh, a little bit of management in terms of um, um, checking your email for uh, sales or your Facebook page for sales. Ganun lang siya kadali. You don't need to uh, go to an office and uh, quit your job. Hindi po. Uh, you can have an online business uh as uh, a second career or a, a side uh, business. Yan po yung ko over the years. Now, uh, I've lots of students who are office workers, OFWs, who are starting their online business uh, in parallel with uh, uh, them being an employee or uh, as employees. So I have uh, students na uh, trabaho as programmers uh, overseas and then they create a, a online personal website wherein they accept small projects, something like that. Or um, I have students who have a talent in fashion. Uh, they would design clothes. They would have them uh, tailored, fitted for a certain... Uh, market segment and they would sell that um, on weekends so they post the pictures Instagram on Saturdays and get um, or pre-orders or orders through the week so uh, sa online business po ito po yung siguro pinakamalaking lesson na may ko is that online business and your employment are not uh, separate entity uh, wherein kailangan nyo mag-resign sa business or sa mga current na trabaho nyo para lang mag-start ng online business. Hindi po. You can start online business even if you are working. And then, um, mas mag ang criteria, ko, ang criteria po na lagi pong sinasabi sa mga students and then other clients is that uh, kay, kailangan kay, kailan ka mag, mag quit ng employment para sa business uh, the main criteria lang naman po is that if your business is getting profit or kita hindi po benta lang po ito kita minus nyo na po yung mga ginastos yung kita nyo mas malaki sa sweldo nyo na tinatanggap buwan buwan then mas maganda po, itutuloy na lang yung online business. But if you're not getting the same amount of uh, uh, revenue stream from your online business as compared to your current employment, just continue operating it uh, and then improving your business. Ganun lang po siya. Alright. Uh, ito po, uh, some of examples uh, that I've been uh, using uh, e-commerce uh, for me to get 
additional revenue stream. So uh, I do business consult. Um, so that's own business model in online business. So mga lahat ng pag-aari nyo, talento, uh, produkto ng pamilya, or something na ginagawa nyo on your, your free time, you can use that as a way to start an online business. So what if, what if, wala naman po tayong ganong original na produkto ang ginagawa, or wala tayong uh, skill na tingin natin may ibebenta natin sa sa market sa Philippines you can uh, be a reseller so reseller is you sell other merchants products uh, you store inventory tatago nyo po siya sa bahay nyo or an uh, inventory warehouse and then kapag may order sa inyo send nyo lang po po yung uh, isend nyo yung binili nila uh, via third party uh, logistics or couriers so ganun lang po siya so parang Mag-aangkat po kayo somewhere, sa Palengke, sa Divisoria, or um, uh, kung saan mang supplier. Tingin yung may magandang produkto para i-benta. And then, try to offer that supplies, that products sa family, friends, initially. And then, the closest circle of friends. And then, to other markets other people within your town, your barangay, or the, your municipality. So, ganun lang po siya. Ito po yung typical na ginagawa po ng mga e-commerce or online business sellers na nakikita po natin sa Facebook, sa Instagram, they resell. Though, uh, ang medyo mahirap lang po is that nagalagay lang po tayo ng markup or patong. Patong sa mga uh, binibili, inaangkat po natin produkto para maibenta sa ibang tao. Unlike dun sa kanina po, you own the product, originally kayo yung gumawa. Like uh, yung example ko po kanina, meat products, for example. Kapag from scratch, gumagawa po kayo ng longganisa or nagmamanufacture kayo ng sabon, for example, or dishwashing liquid. From start, ng pag-produce hanggang maibenta, mas malaki yung kikitain nyo. As compared na bibili, bibili kayo ng gawa na, na dishwashing liquid, sabon, or meat products, medyo mahal uh, pagbili ng mga ganong items and then papatungan nyo lang. So medyo maliit ang kita. But it's a valid way to start an online business. Um, some examples, ito po actual uh, it's uh, my no. Uh, it's our online uh, store for uh, uh, swimwear. Uh, this is in collaboration with my sister. Uh, she sell items uh, from China, custom made swimwear for yoga enthusiasts. Um, uh, she sell this. Um, bikinis and, and uh, swimwear to specific people who like uh, yoga. So, nagpapagawa po sa China, ini-import, papunta uh, dito and then in the United States. So, mapapansin nyo, mayroong United States logo. Um, binibenta po nyo yan sa US. And then, may markup na lang, dun siya kumikita. Ito po, uh, sample of, of one example. Do medyo uh, international ang kanyang target market, hindi po Philippines. So, uh, we discussed the first two owned products. You use that to build your online store. You are a reseller. You buy items and then resell it. On affiliate, the third business model is you just promote other merchants products and earn commission on sale from your site uh, you don't have you don't need to purchase something from a supplier you just need to promote Ngayon, uh, um, the the perfect example an actual example of an affiliate uh, business setup online business 
is through Lazada, Lazada, um, Lazada affiliate uh, marketing. So, ang ginagawa po ng Lazada is if you have a website, uh, you they, Lazada would give you uh, specific links or codes na ilalagay niyo po sa website. Pag nilagay niyo po sa website, yun lalabas ang specific na products na na pwede niyong ibenta. Pero kapag kinlik po nila yon yung mga parang binibenta niyo po doon, mapupunta siya sa special page sa Lazada. Ngayon, paano po kumikita dito? Ito po, um, browser commission uh, and app commission tracking. So, itatrack po ni Lazada if yung bumili sa Lazada application, website man or mobile app, is nanggaling ba sa website mo or sa application mo. So, kung ako, uh, nalaman ko yung isang produkto ng Lazada sa website ng isang, sa website mo, for example, uh, pag-click ko doon, mapupunta sa Lazada, pag binili, ang kikitain ng kung sino man ang may affiliate uh, marketing website is, uh, uh, is uh, examples lang po dito. Uh, just browse the Lazada affiliate program link. Um, the commission rates, kunyari po watch or sunglasses or jewelry bumili sa Lazada. And yung customer po ng Lazada nanggaling sa website nyo. Uh, bago siya bumili. Ngayon, if for example, uh, 1,000 pesos yung item, like, eh, let's say jewelry for example, 1,000 pesos bumili yung uh, bumili yung customer ng Lazada, 7.5% ng selling price ay mapupunta po doon sa affiliate or yung nag-promote ng produkto. So, for 1,000, you'll be getting 75 pesos by just promoting. So, ano po ang puhunan dito? Ang puhunan lang po is may website kayo. So, kailangan you have your own website. Uh, and then, uh, you need to have an account with Lazada. Ganun lang po siya kasimple. And then, obviously, kailangan mag po kayo maggawa ng articles or promotions about the products of Lazada. So, ganyan lang po kasimple. Before, uh, I, I did uh, affiliate marketing for Lazada. So, yung rmnisperos.com uh, used to be an affiliate uh, website hosting Lazada items. So, uh, uh, I tried to 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 sell uh, indirectly. Hindi naman po siya direct benta. So, I, I'm talking about business. And then, yung business, uh, kunyari po, business books. Uh, and then some uh, products about training, about workshops, may mga ganun po. Minsan mayroon pong nagkiklik. Um, and then uh, ito po, may kita nyo po uh, around may fashion, bags travel, uh, and other items. Um, though medyo difficult po yung app kasi kailangan mayroon po kayong mobile app that would link uh, your customers or viewers of your app to the Lazada app. Natatrack po nila yun, so uh, mas malaki but it's more difficult as compared to the web option or the website option. So dito po, ang puhunan lang po dito is the website. If you be, uh, requirements po na Lazada is you have your own domain. So kailangan, kunyari, for example, uh, meron kayong .com domain, uh, klm.com.ph for example. And then you create a website. How much is the domain? Uh, if that PH is around 1,500 per year, kapag dot com it's around 500 to 700, depending on the uh, um, domain registration service na pipili nyo. Usually 700. And then uh, you need to pay for a server or hosting provider. Um, there are options. Uh, as low as 500 or no, 2,000 per year, per year. Um, then merong around 50 per month. So uh, that's 600. Though limited lang yung disk space niya as compared to the costlier option. So, so meron ka ng 500, 700 domain, 
let's say 600 uh, 600 yung website hosting or server so from that merong 1200 you can create the website and then uh, usually naman kapag sa mga so online server meron silang automatic installers doon ng open source software open source software meaning walang bayad gamitin yung yung software um, i've been using on open source software for quite some time uh, wordpress yung pangalan ng ng application so automatic install do kailangan nyo lang mag-edit maglagay ng picture maglagay ng um, articles mag sulatan niyo yung mga descriptions but you can uh, use your own time your own talent without even paying for someone so can you you can use that so i think you can start an affiliate uh, business uh, or a affiliate business as an online business model uh, as low as we natin 1500 per year uh, though very difficult to promote because uh, you have competition with other uh, website owners. But uh, the challenge is worth it. 7.5% uh, sales or commission per sale if you can promote Lazada products. Hindi, hindi po lahat ng produkto ng Lazada i-offer po dito. So kailangan may theme po yung ano nyo, yung website. So kunyari uh, more on ano kayo, uh, jewelry based uh, website, nagre-review kayo ng jewelry for example or makeup. Uh, Siyempre yung pinitindan nyo rin yung post nyo na produkto ng Lazada related to your topic. Uh, in our example, yeah, jewelry, fashion, uh, um, business for example maraming anything uh, connected para hindi po ganun kalaki yung ah, ka, uh, umaga assorted yung mga nandun maganda po clear cut yung message kasi ang tinatarget po ng isang website ay specific people na may same interest same behavior same characteristics so if you're good at fashion tell stories about fashion promote uh, fashion products uh, from Lazada and get um, get commissions in return. Okay, so that's the third option, affiliates. Um, my fourth option for you guys is still uh, having your own website uh, similar to affiliates, though different ang, uh, ang way to earn so you earn from ad advert advertisements. Uh, you earn fees from advertisements from uh, Google. So kapag meron kayong articles on your website, like this one, this is an article I written 2012 pa. So makikita nyo po dito meron part, a full part-time degree program, 19 Cloud Security Report. Makikita nyo po, these are ads posted by Google, not, uh, not that's not from me. So may pinipage lang po ditong code and then automatic maglalabas ng ad depending sa topic. Since my topic is about business, uh, about master's program, so they are um, showing ads related to um, degree programs such as this one. Scrolling down, scroll down natin yung similar or the same, same, article on my blog, on my personal website. So, may kita nyo po dito, this one, the EC Council University is also an ad from Google. And the one here uh, on, on the right side is also an ad from Google. So, ano po ang kinikita natin dito? Uh, ito po actual. Um, just screenshot this a while ago. Uh, so, uh, my website earned me for a specific period 87.89 dollars so that's around four thousand i think uh so it, it's based on page views uh based on impression this is uh based on the article that i mentioned a while ago so ngayon po uh may kita nyo po dito uh it 
can earn uh, without you doing anything. Just need to uh, write something interesting, and then people would view that. And for any views, any clicks on the ad, nakakaroon po tayo ng kita. Ganyan po. So, uh, if you happen to have uh, a website, you can pursue both affiliate marketing and advertising through Google Ads uh, as two ways to monetize your online business. Uh, siyempre po, meron po tayo mga articles doon, may mga videos. You can use that to, to earn. And last, last option uh, for you to start an online business is uh, similar to the reselling option. Uh, so the reselling, bibili po kayo ng produkto, itatago niyo yung produkto, kapag may bumili, ipapadala niyo na po sa kanila. Ang dropship, similar sa reselling, ang difference lang is hindi niyo may agreement lang ang supplier at yung business owner. Ang mangyayari po is kapag may umorder na customer doon sa online business, ang gagawin po ng online business, ino-notify si supplier, yung supplier na ang magpapadala sa customer. So, um, yeah. tignan natin yung nangyayari. So, uh, first, customer mag-order, for example, 2,000 at 100, order sa, sa, sa online store, website, or social media page. And then, may, may mga applications po dito sa dropshipping na pino-forward yung order sa manufacturer or dropshipper. Ipapadala niya directly sa customer. Uh, the traditional uh, way to do business is uh, bibili ka muna sa manufacturer ng product and then kayo po magpapadala. With dropshipping, yung manufacturer po ang magpapadala. So example, uh, so this is uh, a website. Uh, it was created uh, uh, without any, uh, just for fun uh, because I bought the domain. This is my uh, daughter. So binili ko po yung pangalan po niya na domain. So ramielsurin.com, pangalan po niya. Ni-register ko lang and then try to do dropshipping. So uh, nagtitinda po ng baby toys and clothes. Ang nangyari po dito is uh, I, we are offering the products only to uh, Canada and US. So yung website po na to, mayroong application sa loob na kapag may nag-order ng, for example, baby clothes, automatic manonotify yung supplier na nasa China. So, ang nangyari, ang gagawin ng Chinese supplier, ipapackage siya yung item sa plain carton box. Uh, and then, lalagyan niya ng sticker ng logo ng website na to, yung raymelsherine.com. And then, ipapadala niya sa uh, China. Uh, sa US, sorry, from China. Um, the item here um, cost around $50 yung selling price ng mga items nandito sa sa website na to, sa remilserene.com. Around $50, $30 $50. So, around kung $50, mga $25. Ang cost ng item uh, sa China, around $10. Um, yung, yung shipping, para, uh, it differs from uh, state to state. I think the average uh, siguro mga around $5. So from uh, $25 worth 2.5 in pesos in Philippine pesos, ang cost lang to uh, ang cost ng item saka shipping is around 1.5. So kada item kumikita ng 1,000. Uh, not bad for something na hindi mo naman hinahawakan yung produkto. So that is uh, business models. So yun po yung mga basic ways to start an online business. Uh, from owned products, you resell products, become an affiliate if you don't have a product or products. 
uh, if you really don't want to sell, you just want to write and create ads, yan, uh, create content, I use that to attract people and then uh, and then show ads to gain profit, gain uh, uh, income. And then lastly, drop ship. Drop shipping is like reseller, but may special agreement between supplier and the uh, the business. Now, uh, as the simple steps, uh, four steps to success. Uh, it's uh, simple, but the, these steps are the usual steps that I make. You, when I create an online business and also when I uh, teach in uh, teach clients and teach newbies uh, in online business so we start with products pick products or services na ibebenta po nyo uh, this is the a very important step in starting an online business ano ba ang produkto na ibebenta nyo ano ba ang hinahanap ng market, ng merkado or anong hinahanap ng mga uh, pagbebentahan nyo. So, doon po nagsisimula. Usually, uh, maghanap kayo ng trends based sa uh, tinatarget nyong market. So, kung uh, mga taga Fairview na, na tao or yung uh, pagbebentahan nyo, ano ba yung usual na hinahanap nila? Ano yung tingin nyo hindi pa nabebenta doon? Or ano yung kulang? Or ano yung kailangan nila? So, doon po magsimula. Uh, usually, ang, ang choice ng products at servisyo na ibebenta ng business, hindi po nanggagaling sa may-ari ng business. So, kung ako po magtatayo ng business, hindi po manggagaling sa akin. Usually, ang clue ng isang entrepreneur ay galing sa kanyang uh, tatargetin na market or ito yung mga taong pagbe pagbebentahan niya. Ano ba yung kailangan nila? So from that from, from that market doon po nagkakaroon ng clue ang siyang entrepreneur. Second is uh, kapag alam niyo na po ang ibebenta niyo, obviously kailangan niyo gumawa ng e-store, electronic store. Uh, kanina po inexplain natin may apat na way, owned website or owned application, uh, outsourced application or a website social media, and then the last is marketplaces. Now, the advantage of having an owned website is that you can try uh, advertising in Google or you can try affiliate marketing via Lazada. Uh, kapag may online electronic store na kayo, um, you need to create your uh, creatives. Ito po yung mga picture, ito po yung mga, uh, mga description, Ito yung uh, mga video na ilalagay nyo sa electronic store. Uh, ang electronic store po kasi is a proxy ng physical, uh, yung, yung paghawak. Kasi po, pag pupunta ang isang customer sa isang tindahan sa mall, for example, kaya po nilang hawakan yung produkto, kaya po nilang tignan. Uh, ang proxy lang po doon, pag online business, is the creatives or content. Ito po yung picture ng produkto or description ng serbisyo. Ano yung guarantee? Uh, kung may video pa, ano yung mga features? Lahat ng informasyon sa produkto or serbisyo ang ino-offer ng isang online business. Kailangan kompleto. Mas kompleto, mas makakapag-decide ang isang taong bumili sa isang online business. And then lastly, you need to create marketing. Uh, marketing in terms of Facebook, Google, uh, but the most, uh, you need to start uh, relationships in marketing. So, kailangan uh, mag-uumpisa sa family and friends, offer your business, and then create a trust. Kasi ang hindrance po ng mga Filipino sa pagbili online is the trust level. Mapapagkatiwalaan ba itong website na to or page na to. Kasi baka marami pong scammers nowadays and uh, you don't want to be branded as such. So, kailangan you create marketing 
campaigns that would create your trust. So may guarantee ba kayo ano yung mga usual o murders? Meron bang, so, meron bang uh, social proof? Meaning may testimonials ba from kakilala? Parang ganyan. So uh, that's uh, the, fir- the four basic steps in creating an online business. Um, you will create, uh, you will encounter problems, but uh, the, the first principle is that you need to create trust. Kailangan may trust. Uh, ang customer sa online uh, business. Um, usually, kapag nagmamarketing, it's more on sa messenger, uh, and then ask for feedback offer discounts so that you would know your first group of customers. Uh, from there, magkakaroon kayo ng mga testimonials dyan. You would post that and then uh, create loyal customers from that. Um, so that's uh, our webinar discussion for the evening. So keeping in mind the topics or, or, or the topics discussed, uh, first is the online business 101. What are the pillars of e-commerce and online business? We've discussed the electronic store options. We've discussed the payments options. We've discussed logistics, uh, which you can search your your uh, logistics partner on your own. Uh, um, some important notes on logistics is that if you're selling services, you don't need to enlist on a third-party logistics since you're selling, selling services. Uh, these uh, logistics are mostly for uh, businesses that sells physical items. Um, the last one is about digital marketing. You need to uh, promote your business digitally uh, for, for organic or free advertising. You, you can create pages in Facebook, uh, Instagram marketing, Though it's better to uh, allocate funds for online advertising in Ads Manager in Google, oh, in Facebook, and AdWords in Google. Um, we do, we discussed basic business models or the path you need to do in order to start an online business. So we've discussed first owning your product and then selling it online. Second, uh, buy a a reselling option. So you buy products, uh, make a markup, and then sell that to customers. Third one is via affiliates. Uh, You become an affiliate of Lazada and then promote the products and sell commissions in return. Fourth is about advertising. You create stunning content, engaging content via articles, videos, graphics on your own website and then uh, enlist on Google AdSense, which is a service of of Google that would put ads on your website and you would get shares of the the advertising budget paid to Google. Lastly is drop shipping. Uh, There are options. So this is a very uh, uh, topic altogether is that you can sell items uh, of suppliers without you buying that uh, uh, and putting that on your inventory. So drop shipping is where your customers order from you and your supplier would send the item from their inventory or their, their storage directly to the customers without you holding the item. So usually drop shipping business models are made from uh, are, are made by uh, interconnection of your website to a supplier from China and then offering in different countries. And lastly, the four steps of success is first you create uh, you, you, you create a, a quick market research for uh, clues on what to sell or what to what services to offer to your clients or customers and when you have that product and services you directly create your e-store or your electronic store after which you would populate the electronics electronic store via content 
creative such as graphics, articles, videos, uh, and descriptions of your products. And after that, immediately offer a uh, marketing campaign so that you can uh, push your products and services to the market you intend to sell to. Uh, and then you'll be operating an online business.